We've not actually started yet. Is there is there a <laughs> way for casters to be MVPs? I could really use a Mercedes. Uh, I think people have... <laughs> oh my god, that boy, he's picked Dox here. Oh god, that's the that's, best one. That's such a good line. Sam is going to get skewered. He might off die. the left, he might actually fall. Where's your laughter now, Darkseer? Walking it off with a nice little stout shield to keep him alive as Jirak tanks up the majority of the damage. But both OG heroes survive. Well, then. It all failed. Man. Unfortunate. Monkey King gonna jump onto Pylai die. Inkswell to turn around here. Grimstroke battling with the Monkey King. It's oh, is it, that's, that's a good attempt, that one. Trying to dodge with a mischief, but not quite. Perfect timing. Mid lane moon is going around for Thompson. Zoning him out of the range creep a bit. And down bottom, the Batrider falls. Catch the tail end of that. Nine stacks of Napalm up on the bat. No. What's Thompson up to? 11 1. Feels like he's doing better than expected against a tiny who has. No, I guess he doesn't have quelling, but he's got bracer and of course the tree grab. Yeah, the tree grab is just enough for him. Now Notel goes for the attempt, realizing that KP is pretty much stuck out here all alone. And this 1v1 is awkward as hell though. KP, yeah, he's got... The one Enchantress, there's another slow. She should get this. Eventually. Eventually she should get this. Death by a thousand cuts. KP just getting tickled to death by the Enchantress and he'll... Gonna be the ones that pressure OG, but it, it, it's... I, I feel like it's the reverse now to that OG, to that Mineski versus the TD game. Bot lane, KP. Uh, Topsum does die mid to the rotation of the Grim, but bottom lane, KP has been trapped in the cage of trees. Yeah. Three heroes rotate onto him. KP died, but Jerax and uh, Yups were played. They just look out for themselves first, you know, and then it's like, team, don't worry, you got another carry. Ten minutes after. But just look at this. this. Stronger than we are right now. They have PA, Ember, Darks here. We have to just cut our losses, split push, try to farm where we can. The wall dropped on the AM. Yep. All right. They so want that top room, but it's not there, sadly, for them. And they can't fight. Like, this is the problem when you have this uh, support Magnus. He doesn't power you, but he doesn't really contribute. You have Jerax perhaps falling to actually. We do have Pilot Eye falling in the Radiant. in the Dire Jungle, though. Moon has already expended his combo here. So a quick wall drop by Seb and Topson thinking about collapsing on the tiny. An OG. <laughs> Right. Who's that? He crossed away. Oh, it's Seb. Say goodnight, Darkseer. Even the Battle of Strike won't save you from now, but Thompson's arrival will get them a couple of kills. A Soulbind arrives from Pylite Die, saving his life for what, six, seven seconds? Honestly, if Seb wanted to make a better initiation, he, he wouldn't be able to. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> Thompson and ILTW are very happy when all the stuns are on cooldown. Exactly. And they can jump in with impunity as Moon. We'll just have to give up that tier 2, and this map is slipping away from Mineski very quickly. KP has the boots of travel to maybe... They swing pretty hard onto the enemy side of the map, get some deep wards down, especially around Roshan. Bottom lane, Furby might be falling. They grab a tier 1 on that top side of the map. I, I like, anyways, I like the way Mineski is positioning themselves around these top 2. As you said, he had it up. But he let that happen for some reason. He thought that he'd be able to survive. Didn't expect the tiny to come in and finish him off, and KP didn't expect the PA. As RTW came into slate, finds the kill on Bat, so the one for one himself. Down to the pit, and the three dire observables, they are very, very forward placed from Maneski, have seen this all happen. They know the OG are somewhere in that area, but maybe they feel they're a little bit deeper in the dire jungle and not doing Roshan like that, because they didn't try and contest. The courier, the way it's flying, you saw Enchantress killing that creep in front of the pit. I think they just decided not to fight. Oh god. Very, very here. swift kill on the bat. Tops. Alright. AM's jumped in. Onto Seb. Lost all his mana, and there's the toss to finish him off. Lasso in the back, catching Enchantress, but the damage is lacking so far from Ineski. They've spent it all on that poor little Darkseer. 
Soul Blind will arrive on the tops in a no tail, but ILTW chasing Moon. This is a tanky tiny with his Echo Saber and a Bracer, but they still want to try and just chip away at him. I do realize this is not a kill, boys. Let's back out. Spooky. No tail just walking forward because Thompson has created that front line already. Backstabbing Maneski, looking for Moon. H12 will try and keep him alive, but the damage from ILTW with the BKB finds Moon. And they make it look easy as well because RTW just diving into their base. Magnus down for 25, no RP and soft spots to be in. Tier 3. Grabbed by OG, they're focusing melee racks here as well, they, they but there's a ages. blink on that. Yeah, they have ages, but I think you back off here. I think that would be smarter. Double lasso coming in with a soul bind, and AM, he's come into play. Even with the more drops, they've got a two-man RP, and that's a beautiful start for Maneski. Jirax is touched into the middle of the fight, and the avalanche connects with him as RTW back to the battle, and the Wukong zones Maneski away from these melee barracks. No tail has kept that cap pot alive. Right in the ages, really. Moon wants to make it more. Get some collateral kills. No tail in trouble. Avalanche and AM finish him off, but ILTW is still super healthy. If they can get some big hits and crits onto our jet, maybe they find a kill. But KP has offered himself. Nice little present to the gods. There's OG get a beyond godlike continuation on ILTW's PA and, and Moon and our jet, they're just going in for more. Avalanche. BKB for ILTW again. Up and running, and Arjit stuns the crits, the hits are there! ILTW looking for even more as Febby skewers to the high ground, but that's not gonna be enough to save you from PA, or oh, maybe, maybe. I expect Run away. Oh, very nice. Seb, though, dying and buying back. Yerax gets lassoed up as No Tail pummels in with the impetus damage. Moon getting finished off by ILTW. The Soulbind causing a few problems here as there is no Phantom Strike, but a dagger will seal the deal. And now OG can look up to the left, two easy kills as they find KP and Pylai die. Simple that they can make in this game. But no is creating space already. Arjit is playing with no -tail instead of going and playing with his racks. Is and no tail exactly, he knows. He knows what he's doing. He's toying with this young man's heart and Arjit. He's got to get himself in here. Bat Rider chains up. No lasso, but yes, it's a bit crit. A three-man RP. It's a good what? connection. The trouble is the damage is lacking. Now we move in with a Betty kill, and I just got the sprint away. The crit from LTW says goodbye. And Maneski, they tap out here in game one. OG still continuing this hot streak. That was a great RP, but for what? Like he RP three, but AM doesn't even commit to it because there's a ball, ball right next to it, and. When he tries to commit, Magnus, RP, uh, Magnus cures them away.